Way of the Samurai, more like Way of the Octopi if you know what I mean. Hello everyone, Soberoni of GNA Reviews here with a servant spotlight for the painter turned samurai, Saber Hokusai. We'll be examining her stats and skills as well as going over pointers that how you her effectively and an overall grade comparing her to how she stacks up to the other 4 star servants. So if you're ready to wrap your tentacles around Hokusai, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, and ring my bell so that you can catch all of these spotlight videos as they go up and you can help out the channel. But for now, on to Hoku's stats. Hokusai has a max HP of 11,873 and a max attack of 9,389. Her HP is about average for a saber of her rarity, while her attack is slightly below the average. And when compared to the other 4 stars overall, both her attack and HP stats are more or less average. When it comes to her command cards, Hokusai has 4 hits on her quick card, 4 hits on her arts, 4 hits on her buster, and 5 hits on her extra card. She has an NP gain rate of 0.46% and a star rate of 10%. Saber Hoku's stats are very balanced and don't favor offense or defense, which gives her a little bit of flexibility in where she can focus. Hoku also has fairly good NP gain and star generating due to her high hit counts and double arts and quake deck. Taking a look at her skills, her first skill is Supernatural Power Inc. Rank C. This skill charges her own NP gauge between 10 and 20% and also generates between 10 to 20 crit stars, both depending on level. Her second skill is Father Daughter Affinity Rank B. This skill increases her own crit star absorption for 3 turns between 300 and 500% and it also grants her a one time buff lasting for 3 turns and reviving her with between 1000 and 2000 HP, both depending on level. And finally her last skill is Nom de Plume, Dragon Crested Octopus Rank B. This skill increases her own arch card effectiveness for 3 turns between 20 and 30% and it also grants her a special buff that increases her own crit damage for 3 turns when critical attacking between 10 to 20% both depending on level. As for her passives, Hokusai has Magic Resistance Rank C, which increases her debuff resist by 15%, and Divinity Rank E, which increases her damage by 100. And moving on to her deck and Noble Phantasm, Hokusai has an Arts Quick deck with Quick Quick, Arts Arts Buster, and an Arts Noble Phantasm. Her Noble Phantasm is Shokoku Taki Maguri, which is a single target Arts attack that deals damage to one enemy with between a 900 and 1500% damage modifier, depending on level, and it also increases her own NP damage for one turn between 30 and 70% depending on overcharge. As a welfare servant, Hokusai has more forgiving ascension mat requirements than most servants. For leveling, she only requires four copies of the shaved ice ascension mat, which we will be getting from completing the summer event. For her skill ascension, she will need 15 Yadrissal Seeds, 12 Seashells, 20 Magatamas, and 20 Bells per skill. Yadrissal Seeds can be farmed at Fallen Babylon in Babylonia, where they have a 49% drop rate, Seashells have a 40% drop rate at the Observatory in Babylonia, Magatamas are best farmed at the Castletown in Shimosa with a 40% drop rate, and Bells have a 39% drop rate at the Bombman Cave in Lost Belt 3. When it comes to Saber class welfare servants, I think it's fair to say that they don't have the best reputation. But I'm happy to say that Hokusai is here to reverse that trend. Saber Hokusai may not seem like much at first based on her painfully mediocre HP and attack stats, but the devil is in the details. While her attack and HP may be unimpressive, her NP gain and star generating are very strong, mostly due to her high hit counts and her deck structure. And luckily for Hokusai, NP gain and star generating play an integral part of her kit. Her skills work to bolster these strengths. For example, Dragon Crested Octopus provides Hoku with a respectably strong 30% arts buff for 3 turns, as well as a special on hit attack buff that increases her crit damage by 20% whenever she crits. The arts buff not only helps out her damage a decent bit, but more importantly it seriously bolsters Hokusai's NP gain for several turns, which can easily enable her to spam or even loop her Noble Phantasm. Hoku's crits are especially devastating, not only because of the huge chunk of NP gain that they provide, but also because of her on hit buff that makes it essentially so that Hoku gets stronger the more often she crits. This is an incredibly exploitable mechanic since there is no cap on the buff. If Hoku gets 3 crits in a brave chain, then that's already a 60% buff to crit damage. And that isn't exactly difficult to pull off thanks to her second skill, Father Daughter Affinity. This skill grants Hokusai guts and it increases her star absorb by 500% 
for 3 turns. As you can already guess, this has fantastic synergy with her crit damage skill, because the buff to star weight can eliminate a large portion of the RNG that's required to crit. And with enough star generating, Hokusai can essentially just pop this skill right before any brave chain and rack up the crits. Furthermore, the star absorb lasts for a full 3 turns, so the timing matches up perfectly with Dragon Crested Octopus, and she can use this skill to set up for multiple turns of reliable critting. The Guts is also nice to have because it covers Hoku's bases defensively. It ensures that she can survive an enemy Noble Phantasm if necessary, but for the most part you're going to be using this skill offensively. Finally, Hoku has Supernatural Power, a 20% NP charge that also generates 20 crit stars. So if Hoku's own good star generating and star absorb skills weren't enough, she also has a star bomb that she can use. So basically, anytime you have a Brave Chain in hand, Hokusai can pop all three of her skills and she'll have the perfect setup for high burst damage and stacking her crit buffs. This makes Hokusai a very consistent and self-sufficient crit servant, since she already has all the tools that she needs to be her own crit engine. But the NP charge shouldn't go overlooked either. A 20% battery is good to have, especially on a servant who's already capable of spamming her NP. It just makes Hokusai even better at looping and abusing her Noble Phantasm. Skill leveling priority for Hokusai can be diverse because all of her skills are strong and they're all necessary for her playstyle. But I would recommend Dragon Crested Octopus first, followed by Supernatural Power for the NP charge, and then Father Daughter Affinity last. Hokusai's Noble Phantasm is a single target arts attack that also buffs her NP damage. This NP is about as straightforward as an NP can get, it's just pure damage. Which on a Welfare Servant is extremely good, considering that she'll be NP5 in most cases. The NP damage buff is significant as well because it scales very well with Overcharge. But even at 100% Overcharge, the NP damage buff and Hoku's Arts buff can combine to give her more than a 60% buff to NP damage, which is even better than a Mana Burst. So Hokusai's Noble Phantasm hurts, a lot, and since the NP damage buff always activates and her arts buff lasts for 3 turns, Hokusai's Noble Phantasm damage doesn't really fall off when she loops, so she can maintain very high DPS for many turns. If I were to describe Saber Hokusai in one word, it would be Snowball, which is ironic considering that she's a Summer Servant. But Hokusai is basically meant to be a servant that snowballs and just gets stronger and stronger the more damage that she deals. Once she sets herself up with her crit buffing skill, her crit damage can quickly get out of hand, and in some cases she can even exceed 100% crit damage. As I mentioned, she has plenty of tools for setting herself up, so crit RNG is not something that Hoku struggles with and she can essentially crit on demand whenever her skills are off cooldown. This makes her one of the deadliest crit servants to build around because she has such a high ceiling on her damage output. But outside of crits, Hokusai is still able to deliver huge amounts of damage through her juiced up Noble Phantasm. Her NP damage steroids are way better than average, reaching upwards of 60%, and because of her NP charge and good NP gain, she can be as much of an NP spammer as servants like Kagetora and Luvia. Now all of this doesn't come without a cost. While Hokusai may be a juggernaut offensively, she is lacking in utility and defense. Sure, she does have a Guts, but she doesn't have any way of dodging enemy debuffs, she doesn't have any way of hitting through enemy defenses or evades, she doesn't have any way of removing enemy buffs, etc. All she can do is hit hard, which means that she will struggle in some boss fights and challenge quests that require more than just damage. Hoku also has a bit of a cooldown issue. All of her skills have different cooldown timers, and her Star Absorb skill in particular has a very long 7 turn cooldown at max rank. Finally, card RNG itself can be an issue for Hokusai, because she needs to crit constantly to snowball. So if you're not getting Brave Chains or your Arts cards are not in your hand, her damage is going to drop noticeably. As for Team Comp, Hokusai is an Arts Servant who can be the centerpiece of a crit team or a more traditional NP focused team. For more traditional NP spam teams, pair Hokusai with servants who can buff her arts cards and NP gain, or charge her Noble Phantasm directly, like Helena, Tamamo, and Paracelsus. 
Paracelsus can provide powerful arts and NP gain buffs for looping. Helena is excellent for direct NP charge and arts buffs in quicker fights. And Tamamo not only provides NP charge and arts buffing, but she can also lower Hokusai's egregious skill cooldowns. For crit teams, pair Hokusai with servants who can buff crit damage and generate crit stars, like Caster Gill, Caesar, and Ruler Artoria. Ruler Artoria has a powerful party wide crit steroid, and she can shuffle cards to help Hokusai with getting a Brave Chain. While Caesar and Caster Gill can both generate a good amount of crit stars, and they both have really strong attack buffs, which is great for Hokusai since charisma skills do stack multiplicatively with her other two buffs. Hokusai's Bondcraft Essence is Tales of the Crescent Moon. It increases her NP damage by 30% and the NP damage of all her allies by 15% once she's killed. This doesn't really fit her playstyle, so I wouldn't recommend it. Instead, use craft essences that buff arch card effectiveness and NP gain, like Sign of a Smiling Face, Formal Craft, Royal Icing, or Painting Summer. For crit team comps, go with CEs that buff crit damage, like Heavenly Demon Princess, Another Ending, Welcome Bunny, or even Talk on the Hot Sands, if you feel like Hokusai needs additional star absorb while her skill is on cooldown. In the future, look out for Springtime Kodo Strings. This craft essence buffs arts cards, NP gain, and it also increases your overcharge by two stages, which is good for Hokusai since her overcharge scales very well. For command codes, go with stuff that increases crit damage or star absorb, like Armament of Triumph and Gakyo no Fude. Overall, Saber Hokusai makes for one hell of a damage dealer. She is capable of some insanely high DPS through her strong and spammable NP. She can be made into one of the deadliest crit servants around thanks to her crit stacking buff and her excellent setup skills. And because of her versatility, she can even fit into a variety of arts teams. However, she does suffer from some of the longer than average cooldowns that she has, an over-dependence on card RNG, and a lack of utility that hurts her for tougher battles. All of that said though, Saber Hokusai gets an A plus from me. In my opinion, she's one of the best welfare servants we've ever gotten, probably second only to Ryder Kentoki. Once you set her up and she starts to snowball, it's hard to tell her apart from even the strongest 5-star Sabers. If she had just a bit more utility like a buff removal or invincibility pierce on her NP, then she'd be a candidate for S tier. And those are my thoughts on Saber Hokusai. Whether you're a veteran player or someone brand new, I think it's in your best interest to pick her up because she's that good. And also because she's Hokusai. But what do you think? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like and consider subscribing if you really enjoyed the video. Join the party over to our Discord, chill with us on Twitch, and follow us on Twitter. And I'll see you all in the next Servant Spotlight. So, Bronny out. Later.